hello everybody so welcome back to the channel i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i was able to do these marquee numbers i needed these marquee numbers for a family member birthday party so i had to come up with a way to um, make these large numbers and i'm going to show you how i was able to do that um, but first do make sure that you're subscribed and um, you hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time that i post a brand new video but anyways let's get started with the project This was sort of a big project for me because I've never done the Marquise numbers before, but I just made sure to do my research and see how I could put this together myself. So there are definitely two things that you're going to need that are really important for this project. The very first one, obviously, is a template. You can go on Etsy and find a template, or you can also look up on YouTube how to print large numbers, and it'll show you how to do it on your own personal computer. Check out Etsy, though. They have so many um, great great templates for you to follow. So I just made sure to print out the template on printer paper. As you can see here, I was just cutting off the borders and the edges and adding some tape to the back of them so that um, I can start putting it together and tracing it. Um, so the project materials, as you've seen um, in the intro, are available for you guys so definitely take a screenshot of that to see what project materials you're going to need but um, for this one I'm just going to continue um, putting everything together just like a puzzle piece um, the templates make it so easy for you to just print it out and have access to that so I'm just going to jump over to cutting it and trimming it out and tracing it onto my phone board so keep on watching The second most important thing that you want to do with these marquee letters is to make sure that you cut out your template properly. So you just want to make sure that you have a sharp pair of scissors and just go along the sides and make sure that you're not cutting any of the template so that you don't have any jagged li lines for when you're tracing it out. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you are following um the guide pretty well this is why having a good template is very very important so i'm just going to continue cutting out my template and jump right into making the um tracing it out on the foam board So before I trace out my template, I'm going to just use a ruler and my X-Acto knife to just cut the bottom of the five just to make sure that it sits flat because this is something that's going to have to stand on its own. So you're going to just, if your template doesn't have the um, line where, you know, your number can sit flat then you can go ahead and cut this part out yourself but um, if your template is not like this then don't worry about this part okay so because I'm using the foam boards from Dollar Tree um, they are slightly smaller than my number so I'm gonna have to compensate and add some more strips at the bottom of the foam board so that it can work so if you guys run into this problem um, just make sure that you're able to add some more foam to it or if you go somewhere else like another store maybe like Michaels 
um they might have boards that are bigger that you can use for your numbers um so this is why i'm not giving you guys exact measurements because my number was slightly um bigger than i wanted it to so um, just make sure that when you do print out your number you measure and make sure that you have the right size foam board to um, add to that Okay, so let's continue with the rest of the project, you guys. This part here is going to be the edges of the numbers. And you guys, um, this takes a little bit of technique, but once you know what to do, it is super easy. So what you're going to do is make sure you know 
what height you want your edges to be and well like your borders rather um once you figure out the height that you want the borders to be you're going to start scoring them with your knife so scoring is actually a technique where you start to um split the foam board but you don't go all the way through so that you don't cut um the entire thing so you just kind of go halfway through the board with your knife so um, this part is pretty repetitive so um, I just made sure to use my ruler to go in between um, to use as like a measurement so I just used the width of my ruler to measure that out so you guys you just want to keep repeating this over and over again and basically you just want um, your borders to be able to fold so that you can do the corners um, because I am making a big number five um, it has a lot of curvy parts to it so you want these pieces to be able to bend with your numbers so um, if you have numbers with straight edges you don't have to do this part um, which is honestly a blessing because having to do this part is a little bit tedious but it's definitely not impossible so keep going and um, you guys will see how this will come out Okay, so once you finish counting up how many curvy parts your border needs, you're gonna make sure that they fit. So one problem that I ran into here is that my border did not fit. So I tried to score it a little bit more, but what you're gonna wanna do is just go along with adjusting and sizing um, how long your borders are gonna have to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and score um, this piece again and then what I ended up doing was I just added some like another strip to the border so that it can complete it and you're just gonna follow this up by attaching it all with tape um, I'm using the masking tape just because that's easier and it doesn't rip off the paper um, but with scoring you want to make sure that you're not pointing your knife directly down you want to kind of have it horizontally and just glide it through the foam so that's a little tip for you guys if you're having trouble with scoring your foam but um, just make sure that you're adjusting um, as well as you can with these borders because it's going to take you a little while just to figure out how to um, size them properly. So I just went back in with my ruler and made sure that everything can fit properly and we're just going to install this. So thank you guys so much for your patience with me. I'm trying my best to be as clear as possible, but if you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer them. This was my first time doing this, so um, you know there may be some questions that you'll have to look up, but um, I will do the best that I can so that I can um, explain this to you guys um, from my own personal experience but thank you guys so much for watching keep watching and I'll show you guys um, some more tips and tricks that you can do for your marquee numbers
Okay, so to add the finishing touches to the marquee numbers, you're going to add hot glue to all of the edges. This is how all the borders are going to stay intact. And then you're going to um, make sure to remove all of the tape that is holding that once all of that is dry. Um, but I just jumped right into making the stand in the meantime while mine was drying um, to make sure that the marquee number wasn't going to fall over. So you're going to make sure that um, you use a ruler to make a triangular shape. Um, what you want to create basically is a 90 degree angle triangle that's going to be able to support the back of the marquee number. You can make it as tall as you want as long as you have space in the back of your number. Don't use any material that is flimsy or else your marquee number is going to want to tip over um, once you add your lights and everything it's definitely you're going to need something to support the back so this step is very very important just make sure that you make your stand i have seen other people make stands um, in a different way but i do like this triangular method just make sure that it is at a 90 degree angle like i said before um, so that you can have a marquee number that's going to be nice and stable I just wanted to tell you guys, number one, that it's easier when you're doing marquee numbers to work from the inside pieces first and then do the outside. If you start on the outside, it'll be awkward for your arms to kind of reach over and have to put everything together. Um, so yeah, that is tip number one. Tip number two, I would suggest that you guys um, make sure that you have the um, proper amount of materials to work on this project. So for me, um, in the project materials, I did put down that I use four foam boards, but that was kind of pushing it a little bit. Um, do make sure that you have some excess um, pieces so that if you do mess up, it's not like a big deal. Um, for me, I took my time and made sure that I was precise in cutting everything so that I didn't need any other materials. So um, just make sure that you have the proper materials. So um, tip number one is to work from the inside out and then tip number two is to make sure that you have proper materials. Um, I would say tip number three is to make sure that um, you allot a good amount of time for this project. This one took me about two days but I was busy with some other projects so that's probably why but it does take a good amount of time to get this project right so instead of you know doing this last minute try and have an allotted time so that you can actually properly get this done tip number four i would say it's easier to trace like your numbers once you have everything cut out perfectly so like for my number five it fits exactly the same as the other one so that i didn't have any problems you know having to reshape it or resize it so once you have a really good template um this helps really like it helps you get a lot done so tip number four have good templates um so that you don't have to run into any other additional problems um but anyway so that is all for the tips that i have today just four tips um I think that this project turned out really great. I hope that you guys will give it a try. I did post this on my TikTok and on my Instagram. So do make sure that you follow me on my socials so that you don't miss out on anything else that I end up doing. Um, so yeah, I'm really grateful for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this project as much as I enjoyed doing it. So um, yeah, definitely stay tuned. Um, I will be posting another video on how I decorate it. And um, I think this project was definitely one of the great ones to start the new year. Um, so I'm really proud of this one. Um, so let's keep going. Um, do make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.